Your last pizza probably came in a box like this. It's cardboard, sturdy, and most importantly, keeps your cheese from getting stuck to the lid. And that's thanks to Domino's, whose founder is widely credited with creating the corrugated pizza box. It's just one of the company's innovations, not in pizza, but in delivery. In 2022, more than 40% of online delivery orders for major pizza chains were from Domino's. Here's how the company made its name in the pizza delivery market and why this foundational piece of its business is facing new challenges. This is the economics of Domino's. Domino's Pizza Delivers. Domino's, originally called Dominic's, acquired its first restaurant in 1960 in Ypsilanti, Michigan, and jumped into the delivery business the same year, something very few restaurants were doing at the time. You know, now we think of delivery as being so ubiquitous. I mean, so many types of restaurants have delivery, but Domino's was there very early at scale. One reason it's become so well-known for its delivery is a campaign the company started in the 80s, promising delivery in... in less than 30 minutes. Within 30 minutes? Only Domino's Pizza delivers in 30 minutes or less. People really did have the sense that once they ordered that pizza, they were going to get it to their homes quickly, and I think that really helped for marketing. Domino's ended that guarantee in 1993, after a delivery driver struck another vehicle, resulting in a lawsuit. But by then, the company had cemented its place in delivery. And in the half century since Domino's was founded, it's paid off. It took the biggest slice of pizza chain sales in 2022. Domino's success is due, in part, to creativity in every step of its delivery process, starting with stores. Many are small, and often with little or no dining space. A model the company has said allowed for lower rents and reduced store expenses. Over the years, Domino's has also focused on establishing more than 6,500 locations in the U.S. and has worked with franchisees to extend their reach. So one part of Domino's strategy is what's called fortressing, which is making sure there's enough pizza shops in a certain mile radius that wherever your order goes, one of those pizza shops can handle it and it can help get it to your house quickly. The company's supply line is also structured to make the pizza creation process as quick and uniform as possible. Domino's has 25 supply chain centers in the U.S. where dough is mixed and toppings are prepared before being sold to franchise stores where pizzas are assembled and baked. The more pizzas that are sold, the more money Domino's makes from its supply chain it made up 59% of Domino's revenue in 2021. The next part of the process is ordering. In 2008, the company rolled out its advanced online ordering system, which included a customized pizza builder and the pizza tracker. So the pizza tracker is something that Domino's invented. They will let you know where it is in the process. It's whether it's being cooked, whether it's out for delivery, where they're approaching. Domino's has continued to introduce new ordering options. Pizza emoji sent, Domino's ordered, smiley face. Then there's the last step of the process, getting the pizza from the kitchen to your home. From working with special kinds of insulated bags to creating 3D car top signs, Domino's has been a big innovator in this step. The company has experimented with several methods of delivery vehicles, helicopters, electric bikes, self-driving cars, even cars with a heated pizza oven. It's really putting the whole brand behind delivery in a lot of ways. But after years at the top of delivery, Domino's is facing new challenges. Companies like Uber Eats, Grubhub, and DoorDash are eating at Domino's business in the U.S. as drivers leave pizza for apps with more flexible hours. It's contributed to an industry-wide delivery driver shortage. Other chains like Papa John's and Pizza Hut have both started working with some of these apps, but Domino's has resisted. They argue that that makes it more profitable because you're not having to pay an outside service to deliver that pizza and to market that pizza on their app, and it keeps them closer to their customers. As the company has faced these issues, its shares have slumped from a high at the end of 2021. Now, Domino's is exploring new options. The company is building out a fleet of electric delivery vehicles to recruit new drivers. And it's now offering customers what it calls a $3 tip to pick up their own pie. We see you, carry out heroes. You know, it's much cheaper for them if their customers pick up their own pizza. And so they are getting in the pickup game in a big way. As Domino's continues to grapple with these issues, 
investors, and customers will be watching for future innovations.